Hey wavy babies, it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to another part of The Sims 4 Eco Lifestyle and this will most likely be the last episode of this series. But don't you cry, don't you fret, do not get upset. <laughs> Ooh, Dr. Seeks. No, but literally, I'm going to continue them as a family. We will be continuing the Bandaris or the Bandari lifestyle or the just the Bandaris. For some reason, I am extremely, extremely connected to this family. And yeah, I am not going to stop playing them anytime soon. Um, and trust me, I will let you know if, you know, we get tired of them. But I do want to grow with them and just carry on with their lives. I want to play with Yash. I want to play with Varsha, the whole family. And I want to just really see how far we take it. So the next Next time you see them, it will be labeled as the Bandaris and not, um, or the Bandari lifestyle. I haven't decided. Please let me know in the comments. Vote in the polls in the top right hand corner. Had one of you tell me that you really love the green carpet we used to have. So I went ahead and added that green carpet back in there. The best place I thought was fitting, which was kind of like the kids' playroom. Everywhere else just felt a little bit forced. And holy babies. Ho, 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 ho. What is this? What is this? It's a baby. No, it's two babies. Marsha was preggers with twins, you guys. And oh my goodness, look at these babies. Oh, Yash, I need you up here really, really quick. Yash has to come up here. It's the weekend, so we're just chilling. And we actually have our new friend Corbin over here, who I don't know if you guys remember in the last episode. Um, our cousin introduced us to this guy. She gave him our number. Our cousin's here too, but I cannot find Krishna anywhere. She probably left and went home. Oh, look at uh, Krishna. This is our niece, and she's actually trying to help us calm these babies down. Let's go ahead and get baby right here and just talk and rock them. I would like for you guys to meet. Well, right now, our hungry, hungry baby is Amir. And then this cutie pie over here, his name is Ashan. So Amir and Ashan Bandari. First, Amir was born. So Amir is actually older by like a minute, actually like 30 seconds. But Amir was born first. And then when it said it's a boy again, I, you guys already know I was freaking out when it said boy for the first baby when it came up again saying it's a boy i freaked out i was like what do you mean we have two boys so you mean to tell me we have two boys and two girls i've always thought that was like the perfect max not max but when the world that was perfect make sure you know you get the best of both worlds girls and boys and oh i do not know if we will be having any babies any time soon let's just say that much if you guys are interested in this bassinet override that i downloaded and this baby onesie i can definitely link those down below because i um used in my game definitely a must have so you might need that but let me go down here we need to go ahead and send our friends home because it is pretty late nobody lets their kids stay out after nine here okay that's just not a thing josh is gonna come down here joke about chicken butt and then also put his baby girl to bed i want him to also influence her to like draw on the table and just do something productive and stuff since it's the weekend also something cool and interesting that we are going to definitely talk about more here is the fact that zoya started a club called the green rains now i decided to start this club because first of all i love the club system that comes with get together but i have like um like custom icons i'm probably gonna have to link this down below too i know you guys are probably like what you use all this i do i just haven't used it recently <laughs> in my lps because i just haven't really paid attention to it but yeah it's just me krishna and corbin the people you saw and you know we just go skating and we play soccer play chess do like pranks and stuff it's called the green reins because if we had horses in the sims 4 zoya would be a horse lover she would have a horse own a horse and so at krishna they love horses and i just said green because i mean we are an equal lifestyle so uh, green reigns <laughs> green reigns um so we're gonna meet up with our friends tomorrow at the park but yo a baby girl has got to go to bed so she's gonna go ahead and head to bed now and then we will catch up with everybody in the morning good morning it's fall would you guys believe it and we are awakened by crying 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 baby boys let me just be the first to tell you that having twins is this is life right now okay they do not let up in fact big sis over here is awake now <laughs> Look at this bug lover right here. I love this. So it's like seven in the morning and I love that we can hear the crickets just up and awake, um, you know, just before everyone else. And I just love that sound. Like it feels like crisp. The air feels crisp. 
crisp crisp what the air feels crisp everything feels cool and it's a sunny fall day in evergreen harbor and i love it because i can literally feel it you know for some reason i just feel like i can feel it yay yash got baby boys to like be quiet look see dad bonding time see that's all they needed and i think he's gonna actually let baby rashni sleep in and he's gonna make some tea for mom because she has had such a hard like She's had a night. They've had a night, but Yash, I believe he works today. Does he work today? No, he doesn't, but he's still, like, being that he works, Rasha doesn't want to bother him. She tries to do everything for her, like, by herself for the boys, and it's hard taking care of two babies. Yash is going to, um, I had Yash take some cereal out, out of the refrigerator, uh -huh. and I'm just going to have Yashi come over here. Ra I said Yashi. Rashni come over here and eat it. Um, he's going to be like, come here, baby girl. Come out your room. She's so lazy. What a diva. She's like, hmm about time so zoya is out with her friends and they are at the oak park which was created by lavrine 35 hopefully i remember to link that not link it but um put the gallery id below but yeah i just wanted to mention that because i really love this park it's very simple and we're just here having a normal little gathering and i really love this park because it just looks like super kitty like school courtyard type of thing i really really like that so i want to see if we can oh no 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 i don't want to do that let's definitely play some soccer together also peep the hat that mom knitted for uh zoya super super cute and i love it oh my goodness it's orange bailey moon don't look now but it's orange bailey moon he's super super popular kid on sims tube i think i'm going to ask for an autograph to be honest with you <laughs> oh my goodness or maybe she should attempt an introduction she wouldn't ask for an autograph she's a kid no kids are gonna be like can i have your autograph they're just gonna be like hey are you um orange bailey moon corbin is just like staring at zoya like oh my gosh she's so talented she's such a cool girl man he yeah. thinks she's awesome he's like dude you're so good at soccer he's so cute like you ever see that show lizzie mcguire and how there's always like two girls and like one guy or whatever but they're all three best friends that's what i see that's kind of like what i see here like these two cousins and they've recruited corbin as their like you know trio person I think it'll always be a trio. What do you guys think? I don't think I'll do anything else. We're supposed to be playing soccer with everyone, and Zoe's not giving anyone else a turn. Uh oh. They're like, I dare you. I dare you to go talk to Orange Bailey Moon. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. She was excited. She's like, um, Are you Orange Bailey? <gasps> He's like, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be talking to anyone. <laughs> it's totally embarrassing. Um, well, we're going to mock your sadness. Zoya, I don't know why you have that attitude for her. just because you're on Sims 2 doesn't mean you can't <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't talk to us Zoya is a like really 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 sweet girl But at the same time like if you met someone that you really love watching on Sims 2 or whatever for instance And you're like thinking they're such a nice person because in the videos they're like, oh my goodness blah 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 um, but you know, they just don't want to talk to you when you see them. It can be kind of confusing But little does she know he's just he's famous so he's just like uh i'm only here because we're supposed to be doing a video here later <laughs> maybe orange bailey moon's a little bougie i don't know oh my goodness look at these cousins and their beautiful smiling faces they're so cute i love them i have my aging turned off because i really just want to like sulk in this kitty phase with them because i'm like dreading them in their teenage years no but i just really like I don't know. I just feel like the game doesn't give us enough time with our Sims sometimes. So I definitely want to have enough time. And I think we're going to get an apple spice nog because tis the season. And I'm so excited. And after that, I feel like after Zoya, she's literally like introduced herself to every freaking kid that she's seen, which I think is hilarious. Excuse me. Could I have an apple spice nog, please? Thank you very much. I should have haggled with her. Should have got that from her dad. <laughs> Haggling, getting the cheapest price. Oh my gosh, it just feels like a super duper like calm fall day. I love it. And holy cow, wait, is that? That's Gideon. Wow, let's go talk to him. We know him. Back home with the Vandaris and um, oh my goodness, baby girl needs to definitely come over here. Oh my goodness, she had to use the bathroom, Yash, really. Um, but I wanted him to go ahead and fabricate another eco upgrade part because he needs to come over here and i d 
do you want him to uh, upgrade this with a lightning rod or whatever the case may be whatever I need to upgrade this because I just hate that it keeps breaking I have no idea why it keeps breaking it has level five of the fabrication skill awesome you did it Yash hey buddy got a minute to help me with some recyclables I heard you have a recycler and if you let me use it I'll give you all the bits and pieces I get from it for free how does that sound yeah you want to use my recycler go ahead and I get the bits and pieces oh heck yes that is amazing Yash and Varsha finally made it out of the house you guys finally the nanny came and they were able to kind of get a little bit of time and space away from home and now they're out they're dancing they're chilling they look so cute in their outfits V was like you know I'm gonna try something different I'm gonna get my hair you know just just do something different with her look so she curled it a little bit and um yeah we're just listening to some electronica music dancing the night away and let me go ahead and just say oh Cletus you're here hey how are you so nice to see you let's just talk to him since we do know him he is our friend honestly it's not often that you're able to just kind of like get some space away with the kids and after having four kids back to back to back and unexpectedly twins it is no surprise that um oh let's order a guy's night drink just because uh <laughs> it's guy's night you know obviously we're not single so this isn't a big event or anything but we are a guy and we do love cheap so let's go ahead and get us a uh what is this half priced let's get a flame and zesty salt Let's just do that. And then I think Varsha, who has not had any drinks or whatever um, for the longest time, she's probably going to do just a little bit of uh, soft shadow of Ronaldino. However you say that, I don't know how you say that. Oh my gosh, the drink is totally getting to Yash. He is feeling so good. He's like, oh, come on, let's leave this place. I can only do so much electronica music for so long. Yash is literally getting frisky. Knox is like, hey, my peoples. Listen, dude, we were just on the way out. Oh my God, are you serious? He's stopping to chat with him. We were just on the way out. He just asked me if I wanted to die for thrills in the dumpster. And now he's like, come here. Oh my goodness. Yash, what is it? You see this? <laughs> what in the world? Oh. <laughs> you see this he's like come here Ooh, you are literally dragging her in here no remorse we love to see it we love to see it like just imagine you're just chilling and like you look and you're like yo the dumpster's moving am i tripping or is the dumpster moving down there like i love that what if you're peeping out the window you can kind of see it like rocking back and forth there too isn't that interesting i love it <gasps> look at them <laughs> Ooh, fireworks. It's always a firework when I'm with you, baby. Oh my goodness, Yash, get up. You are so heavy. <laughs> Ooh, he's like, yeah, maybe we should go home and take a shower. Yeah, because I feel kind of gross. So we're definitely going to go ahead and head it on home. But not after, uh, you know, we definitely want to die for some meals, so before we leave. Uh, not meals, deals, I mean. Um, it's only right. She's like, wait, wait, wait. I, I think I saw something in here while we were... You had me like this, and I, I saw like in the corner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Isn't that funny? He's like, V, V, come on. She's like, No, I saw a watch. I want that watch. Or what? Within the. Oh, wait. Six dollars for her coffers. I found six dollars. I found six simoleons. It is the next morning, and oh my goodness, Varsha is so tired. <laughs> Everyone's running a little bit late today. Yash is still sleeping in. V just had enough time to pack. Uh, little Miss, hey, 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 don't forget your lunch. Don't forget your lunch. No, don't skip school, but you need to. There we go. We had to put her lunch in her uh, little inventory. She has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. She's like, bye, mom. Hurry up before you miss the bus. That's not there. We're just going to pretend, okay? <laughs> yeah, so Varsha is up and at it today, and she's like cleaning up everything. She actually is feeling refreshed from last night. Again, she only had a little bit of wine, and Yash actually had something a little bit thicker than that so yeah and oh looks like a baby's just sitting there we're gonna coo at Ashan and just say hi baby are you awake I wish I could pick you up but I can't because you're an object poor thing do you see her just cleaning up and everything oh we need to empty this and we also need to make some more tea after we do that and get a chance to do that how is Yash feeling though he is feeling pretty pretty good and he's actually like probably gonna get a promotion when he goes to work in two hours he needs to go ahead and get his butt up now i think he's going to empty this out for v right here and brew some tea so he can wake up oh my goodness and what else should 
he um he's definitely gonna go to work okay look at yash with these bees but my hubby loves 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 these overalls that i put yash in he was watching some of my gameplay the other night and he was just like i love those overalls oh my goodness weird science we already did all of this no real harm done it's science things are gonna blow up things are gonna happen if you're not expected to do that with eight-year-olds then you're in the wrong profession to be honest with you let's go ahead and brew the coffee we need something that's oh let's do spice sparkling apple juice you guys because oh my goodness it's a fall i love it it's the fall season um no thank you oh no baby's crying we need to get baby our bills are pretty freaking cheap and we could sell some of our thing let's just go ahead and do that oh we made 53 simoleons by doing that friend's birthday everyone seems to be talking about a birthday party that zoya wasn't invited to she kind of thought the host was her friend so it doesn't make any sense should she ask her friend or let it go i think what she's gonna do is just like let it go because she's just gonna be like whatever i'll check it up i have my happy rains club and who cares if the popular girl doesn't invite me whatever i don't care whatever we're just gonna let it go who needs a friend like that anyway zoya tunes it out and plays with the new girl at recess later she finds the invite in her cubby buried under a stale bag of pretzels see zoya you were tripping for no reason it was there all along so she is invited that's so cute oh we almost forgot about baby roshni who's using her diaper as we speak girl you better come down here and get on this party before I get on you. Yash has to go to work. And I'm hoping that we find. Hey Yashi. Bye Yashi. Oh looks like our brother-in-law just decided to come and visit us really quick. I guess we can invite him in. Sure why not. I'm really hoping Yash gets a promotion today. So we are one step closer to doing what we need to do. That would honestly make my day to have him. Um, just you know getting, getting where he needs to be. And we need to get baby. Because baby is crying. You guys can hear my sound. But I can't hear my sound right now. Because I just didn't feel like having my headphones on. So meanwhile I'm talking and chatting. And the whole baby is crying and everything. I feel like we have such a good relationship with our signs. Oh, Amir just became good friends with Varsha. He's the crier, too. <laughs> the most adorable thing ever. We have Uncle Kapil here. He stopped by just to help me with the babies while, you know, baby girl and Yash are away. And I think she is going to... What should she do? Continue knitting this yellow rug that I wanted her to knit. Thank you so much, Kapil. Actually, <laughs> I got it. Babies are kind of, uh, yeah. They want the mama. They want the mamas. So let's just go ahead and, you know, take care of them. Oh, my goodness. This crying. What's wrong, baby? Oh, my goodness. This is not a drill. V got both of the boys sleeping. Oh, my gosh. V, slowly walk away and take yourself a little nap. She's like, oh, my gosh. I am so tired. But I think we're just going to catch up with them when Yash gets home and we find out if he got a promotion or not. And then we'll end the episode here because I understand it's been a pretty long episode for some reason. Uh, and honestly, most of these episodes are of me just kind of chilling with them because we are getting prepared to start a whole new series, which is going to be the Madaris or the Madari lifestyle, whatever. What we built here and what we have here is so special. And I just feel like we can't stop it now. We are all kind of like invested in this family. Even if it's only 2,000 of you watching this series when I post, I don't care. Like even if it was just 100. Tina, really? She's napping. Tina's like, I got to stop by because honestly, Varsha is literally forgetting about her friends. Not on purpose. You know, when you're a new mom, not even a new mom, but just like when you're a mom of three, you get tired. And sometimes it's really hard to like keep track of everyone because you can barely keep track of yourself. So Tina Tinker is definitely our best friend, I think, for life because she's able to kind of like let us, you know, have our space. But then she always pops up and just checks on us. And I appreciate that so much. Like, I freaking love our friend. Is she pregnant? And that was no disrespect, oh, by the way, guys. Like, I'm not saying that Tina is fat. It just really kind of she looked like she had a little belly there. Right. Right. I don't know. She didn't look like that the last time we saw her. So I'm kind of curious because her and her wife, I don't know. They could have got a surrogate. They could have had something. So that's kind of cute if she is. Oh, my God. That's so, that's so exciting. Um, But let's become best friends with Tina Tinker. I meant to do this, I think, episodes ago. And I thought I did, but I didn't. She's definitely our best friend. I just want to tell her, like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming by to see me because I'm losing my mind. I mean, Kapil is great. Ooh, what am I doing? Kapil, Kapil is great and everything. But, you know, it's nothing like having, you know, someone that really, truly understands, like, exactly exactly what I'm going through and everything so we're gonna boast about our family and just say honestly like I've just been so mom mode lately she's like it's understandable like you need to get out the house so you need to do things stuff like that you need to you know just don't forget who you are V should Zoya invite over classmate Pierce yes I love Pierce 
Ooh, here's Pierce. Is this Pierce? Yeah. Ooh, let's complain about the heat. Like, oh my gosh, it's so hot outside. I love this. I wish kids could really go to school because like how cool would it be for us to actually go to school with them, see their relationships and everything, have more after school things to do. Speaking of after school things, I wonder if there's anything that I could possibly have um, baby girl do she could be in scouts but i don't know if i feel like doing scouts because i have that going oh my goodness gracious what's wrong amir amir is my crier he literally cannot stop crying i'm tired i'm so tired amir <laughs> i love it i kind of love it i love this chaos and i love these bassinets it kind of like you know keeps me distracted from wanting to age these babies up right now like i'm kind of cool with it but you know what i feel like we haven't had one-on-one -on -one time with baby girl honestly and I just want to possibly read to her Princess Plum Bob's Castle. Let's do that. I want to read to Roshni. Zoya seems like she's busy right now. But I'm just going to read with her because Varsha feels kind of bad. It's like she's been doing everything but spending time with Roshni. Roshni's smack dab in the middle of the children. So it's just like she's kind of easily overlooked a little bit. But I do notice that Yash kind of makes up for that lack of attention, I guess, that V can kind of give right now uh, to Roshni. Roshni's, again, just like her own little independent miss thing going on. Is she an independent sim? I forgot. Yes, she is independent. That's that's another reason why sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind for me. I barely see this girl. No, I'm kidding. But it happens sometimes when you have multiple kids. I mean, I have three and not saying I overlook my kids, but sometimes that does indeed happen where, you know, uh, Daya Patel would like to come over. Oh my gosh, our family always wants to come over. I'm just going to allow it. I the storyline was like they kind of live far away, but I'm just going to allow it. I love how they want to come over and let's just say that's just what they do. Like, you know, I don't care anymore. <laughs> I think we're going to make a crown roast. And I only say this because maybe we made a roast like in the in the crock pot or something. Can we get crock pots? Please, Sims, can we get crock pots, rice cookers, everything? I love it. Everything that Cool Kitchen should have been. I'm going to cheat up Varsha's sleep just a tad bit. Just, you know, she's going to say, you know what? V, suck it up. You're gonna read your baby girl book. And you're gonna make this dinner. You're gonna make it right now. You're you're good. <laughs> um, Zoya, baby girl, I need you to come home, sit at this table, and work on your homework, please. And thank you. She did eat her lunch, which is cool. And she has a school project to do, which I think we will do as a family tonight. Her and Yash and V can like do that. They can bond over that. And where is Yash? Come on, Dad. Come home so we can know or we can tell if you got a promotion or not. Oh. <gasps> We've been thinking about trying for a baby lately. Do you think we should do it? We want to, but we're not sure. It's a huge responsibility. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Yes, try for that baby. You see, we have like four. It's, hey, look, Krishna, we love her, but give us more nieces and nephews, please. Thank you. We want a huge family. Try for that baby. Oh my God, this is the most adorable thing ever. All right, well, I think, yes, we'll do it. Thanks for the advice. We're having a baby. <gasps> I cannot wait. That means Daya will be braggers when we see her next time, possibly. Oh my gosh, I love this family so much. I love them. My kids are probably like, who is she talking about? <gasps> Y'all don't understand the Bandaras. They got my heart. I love my family, but then this is my family too. <laughs> my virtual family though. Y'all, <laughs> y'all know, y'all know. Tell you, y'all, tell your moms right now tell your dad tell your tell your people like y'all did y'all y'all want to know something uh the bandaris family is growing people are gonna be like who are the bandaris and why do you care what we did not get a promotion yash brought home 1128 dollars or simoleons but he did not he did not get a promotion but he did earn a vacation day i thought he was gonna get a promotion because we did all of this but Except for this. Did we do that daily task? I don't know. Oh, well, it's fine. Dinner is ready. And family. Oh, look, she's like, daddy, daddy, daddy. She loves Rashni and Yash are like like two peas in a pod. That's his baby girl. Hey, guys, I love you. Oh, my gosh. Our twins are crying. This one is hungry. So let's. And this one needs a diaper change. This one and this one. Baby A and baby B. <laughs> Amir and uh, M.M. and Nishan. I love them so much. Do you, can you, can you imagine what I'm going through right now? You hear this? Do you hear this? I am going through it right now, people. We are going to call it a night, a Monday evening. The fam has to get ready for another day of working and school and all the above. And yeah, we will catch up with them next time. V's going to get a plate after she finally, uh, you know, she has to 
get baby boy right here. Well, wavy babies, Rosh is gonna, you know, continue making sure everybody's okay up here, and then she's gonna go ahead and grab her something to eat, and the family's just gonna like chill, possibly work on this project tomorrow because everyone's exhausted today, including Yash. Oh my god, it looks like a dumpster out here, so we gotta fix that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hopefully it wasn't too long, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about the Mandaris right now. I need to know. I want to know. Um, just keep swimming. Always, always stay wavy. And I will see you all in the next video. I love you so, so, so much. Alrighty, peace out.